Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation and this is Takara Cards, a roguelite deck builder turn-based tactics game that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for as part of the Steam Next Fest. It looks quite unique from what I can tell so far, which is something that I feel like games in especially the deck builder genre truly need to stand out at this point. But let us pop on into training and see what we've got today. Let us learn together as we do on this channel. In this virtual place, you will practice basic maneuvers against our new opponents, the Dragon Drones. The simulation is three jumps long with progressively more difficult scenarios. Some features are disabled in the simulation, such as your race abilities. Okay. The interface is full of extra information. Try hovering the mouse over uh, or use the right analog stick over each element. Analyze the tactical grid and then act using cards on the left. Pass the turn when you are done. Passing the turn recharges your batteries, which I can assume is energy, you know? Hey, you can't throw out everything, right? Uh, then enemies and other units will act in order from top to bottom. Each unit has their own behavior, so watch. Every unit has two, inf two informations. At the top, overall power value on enemies. This shows their hull and the amount of damage inflicted. On the bottom, there's an indication of the unit's next action, such as attack or move. Not all units are harmful. Enemies can give you mana or scrap when destroyed. Mana recharges your batteries. Scrap is worth more than money. So this is, this is scrap. Units of the same type fuse when they collide, including your attacks? Wait, what? Okay, so three... Interesting... One last tip, your own ship is also a weapon. Raise your defenses and throw yourself at the opponents. Try and clear the board every turn. The jump ends when the number of units or turns run out. Start simulation. Okay. So what do we got here? Spinner one damage you intend to do... What is that symbol? It looks like you intend to move down this way, but what does that really do for us? Uh, does two damage forward, and then propels your ship backwards into this, which does one damage, dies when exiting the board. When it dies, it leaves scrap or mana. Gain one shield and then move to a selectable tile. So theoretically, can we move over here and kind of... Yes. And we can destroy that. Uh... You intend to move up. You, you're moving down. You're moving up. Okay. All right. Knack common. Ignition knack. What on earth are those talking about? Uh, so I would imagine that we can kill this, but we probably should just, like, get out of the way for now. Right? I would imagine that that's a clearable... You know, that's clear by all accounts. Step. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so the things up there are are doing stuff as well. I can't hover over them, but seemed interesting. Okay. One energy doesn't damage. Dunson's damage. Uh, dies when exiting the board. I could just move, move. Like, I guess I don't know why... I mean, you're moving over. We need to make sure we're out of the way of that, I guess, is sort of the big thing for now. So let's just do that. Uh, ooh. Oh, that moves at a diagonal. We'll get grab the mana, and then maybe we move back? I can't move down there. I'm worried that this is going to hit me. It looks like it's going to be moving down and hit me. So I guess I will... Oh, shoot. We actually needed to move back here. I thought that that was the one that... Oh, no, I was thinking of uh, Energy Bullet. Oh, well. It looks like we killed it anyways because we had a shield. So, actually, it was optimal to not move because... So, yeah, these are moving down. I guess uh, we just need to know that. Fire Fart? Okay. One damage on the selected tile and then propels your ship forward. I guess, like... So yeah, we can't hit off the ship, or off the uh, the board. So you are moving over, that's gonna collide. 
we're more or less fine here. Uh, sure. So I guess, like, do we really need to clear the meteors? I feel like those are just mostly there to be obstacles, yeah? One would think. Oop. All right. So we've got shield and move. You're moving down here. I don't really want to propel. I mean, if you're moving down, you move off the board and then you die. I guess, what's the order, right? That, that seems pretty important for this. We're guaranteed an energy bullet at the start of every turn. Oops, what do we got? I feel like a barrel roll seems good. Okay, hold on. One damage on the selected tile, then propel yourself forward. That seems f fine, especially if we move backwards. But we cannot. So I guess we have to take... Uh, the incoming damage. Yep. Did one of those cards use two da two mana? Is that what happened? Ah, uh, barrel roll is a two mana card. Gotcha. So barrel roll has to be sideways. You intend to move down left. Really? You sure as hell look like you're moving straight down. Let's just blow you up that way, nice and clean. And then I guess we'll just scoot back. Pick up some scrap. So, okay, so you shot out a projectile. Okay, uh, fuses with enemies, dies when exiting the board. I'm not too worried about that. I can only imagine everything just comes down right here. Like, I think that that's just the thing. A uh, big part of me wants to do damage on the selected tile, then propel forward. Can that do damage to me? I kind of want to do it for science while we're in the tutorial to an extent, but... Nah, we just can... Uh, I guess we do a barrel roll over. It's a very expensive way to move one tile sideways, but it seems fine. Just grab all the scrap. What did, What do you mean break off there? So, let's see. You're going to be attacking downwards. That's moving down. We're, we're actually completely safe right here. We can risk our life a little bit. If we really want to. I guess I could break this. Uh, so, okay, it, it break, it broke that, and then it also still keeps the bullet, which is kind of cool. I kind of want to do this for science. Okay, that's good to know. So we, we know that before things get worse, but we don't have any shielding, so we can't really, um, kill anything there. Interesting. Boop, 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 boop. I do like that intro a lot. What the hell do we have here? Mind Jumper, two damage, battery full. Battery full, micro jump explodes? What does that mean? Okay, I can move backwards afterwards. I feel like it's gonna... Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. I could run into that if I truly wanted. We only have how much? Eh. Pretty much just like... Unless I want to take damage. I think we're... Probably best off... Uh, moving like this. What? So what is break off? Truthfully. You gotta tell me. This I kind of like, because especially it might link up with that. Uh, I have no armor. You're going to attack downwards. I don't mind scooting forward. 
Okay, that was pretty cool. Okay, that was pretty cool. I really want this. We, we did lose a couple things. So we could barrel roll... Oh, I don't have the toot no more. Two barrel rolls is a bit much. We have the bomb as well. Could we theoretically... Two damage? Sounds kind of fun to... You attack downward, you attack downward. So why can't we get this? can't play cards on this tile. So we can't... Why? Because it, it combined too big or something? I'd have to find a way to propel myself into it, I suppose. Which I guess... I could theoretically do by moving onto this guy and then scooting back, but then we're, we're taking damage out the wazoo, but it's like... Does that matter? It seems like we get our hull back. You know what I'm saying? This is for science. This is for science. See if this truly does work. Yeah, it, it totally it totally works. And we do get the extra the extra energy to kind of play around a bit more. Which is pretty nice. So I wish we could barrel roll in place. I know that kind of means it's not a barrel roll, but we have... Do we not have shielding? We have one shield. Which is now gone. And then we'll see how this guy works. I feel like he might jump towards me and blow up. No? If it dies, it, blow it explodes? Is that what it's saying? If it dies at full... If it dies at full battery, it explodes? Is that... There's, like, a little bit that I need to get used to with it. But I do appreciate the, uh, like, the elegance of it. Oh, man, this is... Not gonna be good if we... Oh, well. You know what? Yeah, okay, so that was my test. That was my test. So, if it's... If it doesn't have energy when it dies, it doesn't explode. That's actually really cool. That's... That's very interesting. Uh, not a whole lot of reason to do any one particular thing. Like, I could get up there, but then... What is that really going to do for me? It's going to mean I just get hit next turn. This does give us an energy. But, like, why would I care? I, get, I can get the energy just to get the energy and then go back? Why would I care? I think we end. Wait, so why do they get to go first? Why do they get to go first there? Because they moved. he moved down and then he moved to hit me. That's curious. Uh, I do not have the scoot toot move. So I guess we just sit here. I suppose, since we can't kill anything else without taking damage ourselves. there. You reach the end of the simulation, we recommend reading it. Yeah, okay. Let us go on into what is an actual run. That being said, like, that was one of those tutorials that didn't really feel that much like a tutorial, which is nice. Create a character and start a journey. In addition to species and appearance, you'll also be able to choose your reputation with it. You're starting karma. Karma influences your attributes and fate. Certain karma tracks certain events. Each decision taken can bring you new karmas, which can eventually coagulate into new reputations for your character and ship. These new reputations attract even more events, creating a cycle. What? Species? Dwarves? Okay, it looks like we only got one... But we can go for Dwarf. Oh, that is... Okay. I'm a big fan of that guy right there. Uh, so what do we get? Every destroyed enemy feeds their potential just as all wasted energy discourages them. Okay. 
So we also get some kind of uh, boost here. Fixes hull when leveling up. Fixes unblank when leveling up. Is that some kind of like curse or, or something maybe? Uh, doubles your debt limit. You can use the... I mean, sure. Gain impetus after using scrap. Chance to gain shield when collecting scrap. Uh, intelligence up. Knack level influences the cost of maneuvers. In the first levels, it's easier to train. Oh, my word. Learn faster on every experience gain. Double your training cost for common maneuvers. They're, okay, there are, there's a lot of these. This seems like the best one to probably just start with here, but it's cool that in the demo, I was, I was like, ah, you know, we, we get one option and one option. Draconian signal detected and locked. Nine jumps left to destination. Good luck on your exploration internship, cadet. Explore the cosmos and karma fully, but remember your mission. Find the whereabouts of the dragons. I can already feel the goddess leading me to them. Uh, plus... I don't know what any of this symbols mean. Details on the mission can be found in the codex. We'll have to go to the codex first, I suppose. Uh, I'll, I'll do... I'll click one. And then we'll check the codex after. Alright, I'll be back. It looked like it was the uh, type of karma, which... You know, we got the karma codex right here, which is... Uh, might I say... Absolutely chock-a-block full of information if we need it. But holy moly, uh, I do like to learn my, by doing here. So, let us go here. I will say I saw this maneuvers deck, which is curious. It says that it kind of looks like we can, uh, we can rank up cards by potentially, like, training in them or something. I don't know what it'll eventually do as we upgrade it, but... It's kind of cool. It looks like we kind of have to... I'm going to bring it back for now, just in case that ruins something by having a thinner deck. Because it looks like it it takes it out of the deck to train it. Which is interesting. You can get in contact with space stations and other signals to train new maneuver cards. Well, hey. Repair your ship, among other things. The signals you receive may vary from sector to sector. Use your experience points to learn new maneuvers. Training unknown maneuvers is easier. Okay. In addition to directly buying new cards, you can also search for them. Pay for info on equipment and maneuvers from the Pathfinder and Mana Guilds. Use search to attract these cards to you. They may even come for free. It's karma. So, it looks like we would need a certain amount. Experience points. Use them to train maneuver cards. Uh, we don't really have very many. It looks like we, need a, we need like a lot more in order to trade train these. Okay. Uh... Buy from the Merchant's Guild. Sell equipment. Probably shouldn't sell anything yet. Uh, giant Savings. We can trade scrap for coin. Could do. I'd say probably not yet. The jump panels show the available star destinations to choose from. Each star on the panel will contain useful info, combat information, number of units, turns, and its environment. Signals present in the landing sector. Once a destination is chosen, the ship will automatically jump towards it. 25 units in three turns. High mana. Warm up the STG engine. Oh, okay. Let's go for it. Seems really interesting. Nothing if not definitely different. Okay. Okay. EMP Spitter will attack downwards. So we have a, a different character here. Uh, it requires positive impetus. So Dwarves Impetus, you gain... Oh, that's cool. Okay. We gain impetus for destroying enemies. We lose an impetus if we pass a turn while we have energy still. Gotcha. Very, very cool. Three damage forward and then propels your ship forward. I mean, you look like you're going to explode, though. You are intending to, to schmoove. Mana clot. Can we go over cap for mana? I guess is an important thing. Don't have any shield. 
One damage on the selected tile. Swap. Interesting. I will say, if we want to kill enemies, we could just do this. Right? It's probably going to explode, though. It really is probably going to explode. But, you know what? Oh, it only exploded for one? I don't know why, but that's cool. Okay, we still have three batteries. We did get... We gained only one impetus. Worth noting. So, how will I... Okay, I can move backwards by doing that still. We want to be careful. We don't want too much mana. So, break off... What is happening with Break Off? Let me, uh... Can I check the... I guess I can check it. Alright, that's kind of what I expect. So Break Off is just kind of a mechanic that just... It spawns more enemies if you kill enemies. It, it just is as straightforward as that. Oh, hey, I didn't mean to cheat. I didn't mean to cheat. Hello. I didn't mean to cheat. So it spawns more enemies while you... After you've killed the majority of the enemies around. Okay. Impetus. Impetus will will influence the amount of shield received. Oh, okay. So if we kill an enemy, we can gain a shield while using that move. Move to a selected tile and then propel backwards. Does one damage. So we could barrel roll into this guy and then hammerhead turn. Theoretically, we can't move to the right when we're here. Like, it won't let us do that, is my guess. So we could use it to uh, destroy the rocky debris, I suppose. Yeah, it works fine. We get a lot of money that way. And then we do gain the impetus. So impetus, this has impetus as well, meaning that it does an extra damage based off of how much kill power we have. I'm not seeing a, a reason to need more yet, but I'm sure we'll get we'll get a reason. So that's moving up. One damage, mine jumper. No shield. So I just want to make sure that I don't have any mana left, right? I guess I could barrel roll into you and then swing forward. Which did give us extra mana. So I gotta gotta kinda gotta do something with that. We could only we could kill this guy. But then we are probably gonna be taking physical damage from the debris. Is that true? We'll see. Oh, God, we got energy again. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do this in a way that uh, uses up all my energy. So we have to pass our turn with energy left. Would this have done damage? Let's find out. I wish, I wish you could hover. Yeah. I wish you could hover over something without saying that you're going to go for it. Ooh. Doesn't... Doesn't damage. So we can obviously hammerhead smash our way forward. Which is noteworthy because we don't have any um, sideways movement. No, oh, yeah, we do, we do, we do, we do, we do. Okay. Get ready to end the turn. No, hold on. You're moving up. Okay, end turn. Oh, and then we end the jump because it was only two turns. Huh, so we kind of like just go there to farm more or less. 
pretty cool. So how much do we have now? Probably not quite enough. So we can concentrate on one to upgrade it. Which does not cost any money, but I guess is going to be a lot slower, I'd assume. What am I least likely to need? I feel like I don't know if I need two barrel rolls as much as I like shield. Move to a tile seems really nice. I don't know. It seems kind of difficult for me to want to get rid of any of these. We'll, we'll have that be training. We'll see. Go to the comms. Attributes and reputations. There we go. That's something I think I'd actually want to... Gotcha. So this is where, where we can see what we got. Luck, your chance of something going right. Selfless. Act on behalf of things that don't benefit you. Influence the chance to gain shields when using some equipment. Uh, th this is just increase your RNG. Uh, chance of something going wrong. So we got like a curse. Apologies, I, I am quite ill right now. and it, I'm getting <laughs> It's getting worse as the video goes on. I apologize if I get quite nasal here. Sweet talk. Uh, chance to convince some broken some broken equipment to come back to life. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Well. So we could buy something. All right. Well, I mean, we could also apparently we can search. Did I? Is this me, like, communicating? Interesting. Like, we can try and find, uh, like, a barter for it? What's stopping me from just sitting here and doing this forever? Uh, stress test. All costs get doubled till the end of the turn, but you're invulnerable for the rest of your turn. Um, that actually could be really good. That could be really good for us, right? We we play a card, and then we play Invulnerable and play another card for one. It's a good way to use up all of our mana. Some blep or blep you search for will now appear in stores and places you visit. So you're saying, like, if I do this, this is going to be more likely to show up. I don't... I don't get it. I just... It's more likely to show up. Oh, dang. Well, I would really like that to show up. Pray at the altar. Uh, karma credits, mana spins, everything. Okay. Cards in the database. Stress test. I mean, sure. Doesn't look like we can find uh, the place to sell our scrap again. The amount found is influenced by luck. Very curious. So I guess we're done asking around for now. Shuffle test, karma codex, I think. I think we're all good to move on. High economy. 14 units, one turn. Kitsune TV, excuse me, what? Let's move here for now. Seems like there's a lot to learn, which I actually quite enjoy. Okay. So this is certainly chaotic. Uh, I can do one damage to this, but does that matter? The explosion does two, melee does one. So what is swap? Swap position with the enemies. Oh. Could be good. You know, we could move sideways, swap with them. If they blow up, it's at least like a massive chain reaction. I kind of don't mind that. Oh, but they explode first. Oh, that sucks. I thought that, I thought that they would maybe, you know. Oh, well. 
This costs two scrap. Wait, what is this? Does a damage, take one internal damage. Propels your ship backwards. Pinned exhaust. Pinned meaning not ever discarded. Okay. Well, interesting. So if I just want to use my mana for the sake of using my mana, I think I'd do it that way. Okay. Surely we've got a way to do this, right? So the mine jumper does one damage. Press to end the jump. So we are theoretically out of here after this. So we could do like a little bit of a barrel roll, hammerhead punch. We could go pretty ham with this. Eh, never mind. We could, it's a, we could go about about that ham. Whether or not the uh, the ship hull matters too much is, I guess, the question. Uh, can I see my... Fixes your hull whenever you level up. Fixes a blank when leveling up. Certified. Okay. I feel like we maybe just need to move. Just, just get out for now. Get out and keep our, our impetus. We should, go, we should go to a longer one. <laughs> At some point, this card will evolve. I'll take your word for it. Uh, notice from the Department of Intrasolar Gates. Your ship was detected making a jump, ignoring a red sun. Pay the fine and keep your pilot's license up to date. Uh, minus a random amount of money. Plus peace of mind or something. I'll ignore it. So we got, uh... We gained selfless? Interesting. Or did we really? Or we, did we reduce it? We, you would think we'd reduce it. So I probably reduced it. Poop dash, excuse me. What? Sell equipment. I don't think I want to sell equipment... Uh, repair your hull. I'm not missing any, uh, any health. We have a lot of scrap. We have, like, a lot of scrap. Let's sell almost all of our scrap. Wait. Oh my god, this sounds... <laughs> Let's sell all of our scrap. I'm, I'm rich. It's the only thing that matters. Let's buy a card, maybe? Impetus dash... Uh, two shield, dash to the farthest front if you collide, buy a card? Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about? Really? Leaves a bullet quark for two damage, dash to the farthest back. Missile doing two damage. And then move to a selectable tile. Uh, but this costs scrap. Gain two scrap, exhaust pass turn. Ooh. Burn scrap with engines to form shield. Gain plus two shield. So two scrap into two shield. Interesting. So that's the reason to keep it. Uh, if you collide, buy a card. What do you mean buy a card on collision? Just like... <laughs> I, I, I kind of want to know. Guild products are tested on all affiliated ships. Sure, whatever. Oh, so we get that every turn start? I don't know if I'm happy with that. But it has uh it has exhaust, so it's really not that big of a deal. Starting point. Three turns. I definitely want to go to a three turn, son of a gun. High mana. Sure. Good, I guess the other stuff is telling you what kind of, like, 
points of interest you will have afterwards, which is cool. So... We can destroy you. I have purchased a card, apparently. Can move and then slide back. Do we have any shield? We have a little bit of shield. One shield still, that does one damage. Oh, you can't barrel roll sideways there? What the hell, man? Alright, and I can't use that unless there's an enemy there. Rip! You can't, it's because we can't play cards on that tile. You have to happen upon this tile through, like, being pushed back or something. You can't just, you can't move into that tile on purpose. Faulty. Okay, we got chance to propel your ship at random. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have another impetus dash. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. I kind of want to... So if I... We could dash forward. We have no shield. We also have no energy. I think we just want to move back. You're attacking downwards. So we are good to just move back. We get to keep our, our impetus up. So what is that? You, you start out and then you immediately shoot something. You're attacking for one. Is it just that we have we just happen to have the shield? No, you're attacking my uh, my battery. Attacks downward for battery. Really? No, battery empty. Attacks downward on full battery. I guess it's just something to do with the fact that it's an EMP spitter. I don't mind this. Scooting on up here. Getting ready to uh, accept the debris. Theoretically got a nice amount of free scrap. Nothing wrong with that. Four damage! Well, I can't really get to... I can't... I can't really do anything. Uh... I guess I could, like... Do that. For two. We could take one damage and then kill you, but, like, why? Oh, wait. Theoretically, kidding. was like, okay. So we did take it. We did take damage. It's okay. I thought that it said we had two shield already, and then we would get another two shield. I'm not really that worried about it. I do just want to spend energy now. We could have, like, stood there, tried to bait out somebody hitting us or whatever, but... I'm all good. Alright. What do we got? Uh, train maneuvers with Pathfinder. Ooh. Ooh. Train maneuvers. Use your experience points. So, 236 to just upgrade that. But it's easier to upgrade ones that you don't have, is something I read. But that's interesting. And that's just, like, kind of hoping for the karma of it. I suppose. Uh, You know... So that's been added to our maneuvers deck. Okay. 
Okay. Press this to manage them. Practice forsaken. So this is just if I I can get rid of them. That's just that's just all it is. This is just like this isn't training it. That's just getting rid of it because it has been forsaken. Scoot on up. Pop. Okay, so we do have full impetus still, which is nice. You can scoot over, scoot and slide. Might leave mana, it left mana. We have one shield, we could fire fart. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's an EMP guy, but we could just be standing there and just deal with it. Okay. We had enough shield for it to not really matter. Got lots of kills there. Theoretically, a good way to generate lots of money since they have that system that's just like... Well, you could even generate even more enemies. Seems to be a pretty good assumption, then. That killing lots of enemies good. <laughs> you leave scrap. Potentially. Puts us at zero. Not a bad spot. You're going to come down, but you're not going to blow up on me. That landmine is active. You do three damage. I can't move back. I can zoop. I mean... Your ship shields are limited by your batteries. Two out of batteries. By max batteries? Hmm. It could be absolute chaos to just run over there and slam. Like, that'd be a lot of potential damage if it is truly limited by my batteries. I don't really have a good option. So I guess I'm just going to spam to uh, make sure I don't lose my impetus. Just deal with this guy hitting me. You have combined like a son of a gun, man. Uh, we could move back. We still have a shield. I kind of like this. Ooh! That felt good. That being said, I will not be able to keep things in order here. I can't use this card naturally. Okay. Being able to dash to the front with armor to just block the next guy coming in is so good. Uh, two damage, moves down, fuses with enemy units, etc., etc. You are armed. spot here.
So do we take do we take uh one damage here? No. The phrasing on this is a little bit confusing confusing. Limited by this is like Batteries full, overclocked to overload. Yeah. I mean, attacks upwards. I definitely like this. Is it just we can never block more than three? Is that just the whole thing? Is that just the whole freaking thing? Okay, so we broke off. Oh, guy. Oh, guy. Three energy. Oh no. We have too much energy. So yeah, so we had shield there, but it just didn't really matter, is the, the whole thing. We're safe here, I guess. So I kind of just don't want to mess with it. If I can't get my uh, my energy down for impetus, we'll just get out of here. So, do we restore our hull? No. Okay. I didn't think so. The flying circus is set up in the sector. Performance includes incredible flying juggling and even special appearance by the current Miss Universe. The giant savings are offering two courtesy tickets for today's show. One for you and one for your ship. Uh, pick up some maneuvers if I watch the show. Increase our search. Or maybe we'll get that that maneuver uh hmm. so what did we get oh we got stress test we did we actually did get it that is pretty cool invulnerable for the rest of the turn is it really as op as it sounds I mean, could be really, really good. Uh, could be bad, too. Could be very expensive. No signals found here. I guess the question is, like, should I thin my deck out a little bit more? Two mana cards are inherently a little bit less valuable. I do like that we can just get to thin the deck whenever we want. That's a great thing. Electric, electric field. Open field. Scrap field. High economy. Sure. Uh, two damage. Moves down. Decays every turn, every pass, and then returns to the board. Oh god, this sucks. Also, one second, this is so loud. Okay, so ay ay ay. Thankfully, nothing is moving to me, but the issue is just I do kind of need to spend my mana. Good. So do these. So you just came in and hit me, huh? Oh man, this this is gnarly. All right. We can move diagonal and then kind of just go wherever the hell we want. This intends to move down. This is okay. This is absurd. Uh. And now I'm scared to even, like, take damage. I'm, I'm scared to use the shield, because the phrasing on it is just... This is so awkward. Like, theoretically, I block to. I see no world in which this phrasing would make sense to mean that I won't take damage here. Or that I will take damage here, but hey, who knows. You can always do this. Okay. Well, if I'm just trying to use up my mana, I guess I pop this and move down. 
Yeah, this level is gnarly. Okay. We could theoretically scoot scoot, but then you attack downwards. And even though I would have enough shield to block it, I don't know if I'll have enough shield to block it. You know what I'm saying? Let's find out. S screw it. I didn't take that hit. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to risk this, because moving left down and then having this hit me seems like it'd kill, so I think we have to just lose the impetus. I think we just have to. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe it's that um, lightning damage goes through shield or something. That could certainly be an angle. That could, that could explain things as well. All right. Got a lot of energy, but not feeling exceptionally safe to use it. Okay. Alright, those ones down there combined, which we actually could use to our advantage. If we have the right movement. No, we don't. We trash that one. Oh hell. You're gonna do like an ion attack or something, aren't you? I've got shield. And I'm out of here anyways. All right. Advertising in your log. If your hull has suffered, stop by one of our branches, have it repaired. We're always available with the Merchant Guild stations. At the horse, we use a golden hammer. Uh. Sure. Train maneuvers. Ask around. We could try and find, you know, we could try and get another specific one. Move to selected, ran selected random tile? Wait, what? A selected random tile? Excuse me? Is it like it picks randomly and then, but you know which one it will be? Maybe that's it. To shield only in tiles where with enemy attack. Uh, chance to propel ship at random. Chance to gain zero to three energy. Launches a missile of one damage and two energy damage upwards. And then move back. That does seem cool, but it does cost scrap. That's why it's so good. Right? Hoop dash. I mean, I think I'm all good here. By Kitsune TV. It leaves an attack of four damage. Move to the selected tile. Up and down. Move to selectable tile back. Dash to the furthest front. So are these just like different cards that are like kind of more thematic seems to maybe be the case sure uh but yeah i mean I'll, you know what i'll tell you what i think that'll do it because I, I just looked at the time holy moly that uh that went quick here no yeah this you are not kidding about this being a very big merchant place holy mama absurd absurd but yeah theoretically we're only like halfway done so like that's a lot uh, but very, very cool. Uh, very extensive demo. Very deep demo. Very, um, I'm not going to say confusing. It's just very dense. Extremely, extremely dense. And a lot of the stuff uh, you, is very required to, like, flip through a massive, massive manual codex to truly figure out. Which some people are going to love and some people are going to hate. That's just as simple as that. Uh, for me, I love it, but also it's difficult in a YouTube video standpoint, uh, or at least the way that I like to do videos, which, where I, I like to showcase my first impressions of games instead of just a standard review. I find it to be more fun for me, and also, 
a lot of times people know by watching, you know, you're like, you know if this game is going to be for you or not based off of what you have seen here. Uh, I can tell you what I think, and what I think is it seems new, it seems, like, different, it seems fresh, it's tackling a lot of ideas, it's very dense, uh, and it feels ultimately like a handful of familiar things put together in a very unfamiliar package that is a lot to take in right away, but you may be a person who is looking for a lot to take in, like I often am, and I often do look for something that is a lot to take in, but you already know that by watching this, if you uh, were excited by it or not. Uh, there's a link in the top description if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Check out the channel. I cover Roguelix and more every single day. Normally, I'm not uh, this sick. I do have a nasal voice, but not this nasally. Uh, that's that. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.